One of the things that really annoys me about the Xbox full screen experience is the game tiles themselves. So I'm going to show you on my Legion Go 2 here because there's more games on here, but this will work on any device that's got Xbox full screen experience, including the Xbox ROG allies as well. So yeah, one thing that really annoys me is these game tiles. Like look at Alan Wake, it's really annoying. And this one just here, but the rest of them look actually look good now. And that's because we've got what was a Steam OS mod now come over to Windows and be able to be used with Xbox full screen experience. And I'm of course talking about Steam Grid DB. Before we get any further, I want to say a big thanks to our sponsor for this video. They've helped us make this video possible. And that is of course Vitcha. People yes. that we love, we've covered their products a lot in the past. And they make awesome AR glasses that we've tested on the Ally X and we've tested yes. on the Switch 2. Yes. No doubt it'll work really well with the Xbox Ally X oh, as yeah. well. What's your favorite thing about Vitcha glasses? The absolutely monstrous screen and yes. the fact that they're OLED. They are fantastic bits of tech and they really do merit really well with your Ally X. Anyway, more information on them down below and thanks to Vitcher for sponsoring today's video. Now this is really, really cool. I'll just show you what you can do with it first before I show you how to install it and everything like that. So I'm gonna go over to where I've got it installed and I'm going to go up here and back out of that and I can see all my games here now. So when I go to, let's say The Witcher 3, I'm gonna click on the artwork there and now look at all these different artworks popping up. I could choose from any of these that I like, which is really, really cool because that's one thing that annoys me so much and all my games are installed here and it will work with pretty much anything as well. There's a little bit of an exclusion. Games from Epic Game Store and the Ubisoft Store require you to manually search for them. So you'll get this little icon. Let's go back up to Alan Wake 2 at the top here, which is coming up as unknown. I'm going to search just there and I'm going to then manually have to search for it. So Alan Wake and then space two, like so, enter. And then it comes up, Alan Wake 2. There we go. And then there's all the artwork. The only issue I've had with this one game is at the bottom, it just says error. Value does not fall within the expected range. So that's the only game that won't actually let me change it. Everything else does let me change it from my list of installed games. And I can just choose any of the artwork that I want. Sometimes with certain games, there won't be that many options to choose from, but other games might do. So I, Midnight Walk again is a bit of a more sort of niche game, but let's go to like Resident Evil 4, for example. Now there is absolutely loads of different ones to choose from, which is really, really cool. I have noticed as well, when you choose an artwork, you then need to restart your system for them to display correctly. And now this is what it looks like installed. Instead of having those stupid little tiles within these tiles, I now have like proper artwork there. So it's a step in the right direction. And I'm so glad that Steam Grid DB is here because it's something I always used to install with Steam OS to be able to change my artwork. I love that. So having it here immediately is awesome. But let me show you how to install it. So first of all, you're gonna get up Game Bar. However, you know, you do that on your device then you're going to go all the way over to the end and go to widget store so there we have it right at the very bottom steam grid db for xbox i'm going to click on it i've got it installed already so you're just going to hit install like that but then we're not actually done so what you need to do then is bring up game bar again go over to settings and then you want to go all the way to the very bottom to more settings. And then we're going to go and open window settings like so. And then we want to go to privacy and security. We want to find file system, which is all the way down here. So just scroll down until you find file system. And then under let apps access your file system just here, you'll see Steam Grid DB for Xbox. And you want to enable that because that's what's giving it permission to actually override you know, the, the location icons, right? You can come back in here, then you can bring up Game Bar, and then you can go all the way to the end and it will just be there and that is it. Now you're in Steam Grid DB and you can just go through all of your games like I showed you earlier and whatever it might be, you can just hit on the pencil icon, choose your favorite artwork that you want and then it will just do it. It's so cool and you can revert as well. So you can just click on this back button and it will just revert it back, which is pretty cool. But it's super easy to do. It makes Xbox full screen experience so much nicer with these full artwork tiles rather than the little 
little ones. So you can see there's a demo there with a little tile, which is really annoying. Same with the Alan Wake one at the top and this Constance demo as well. But everything else I've changed just because they're demos. But yeah, so go and download that now. It is free. It's super easy to do and it just makes looking at Xbox full screen experience that much better. I really hope that Xbox full screen experience like improves a lot because visually it's me i'd love it if they could make it look like an xbox operating system rather than just a full screen pc app but there we have it that's steam grid db for xbox and i highly recommend all of you go and do that it's free super easy let me know if you want more tips and tricks there's way more tips and tricks about xbox full screen experience and all these handhelds on the channel so like this video subscribe become a member and you get to chat to us over on our private discord stick around for the podcast as well and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Watching.